Hey guys, in this video I would like to take a look at Fusion Linux 14.1, the release candidate, which is um, based off of Fedora. Um, so I'm currently running it off of a live DVD at the moment. Um, and now let's get stuck into it. We have um, three icons here on the desktop. We have um, the computer icon, an examples folder and an option to install to the hard drive. Um, let's quickly look at the examples. They have some Inkscape examples. Uh, they have some tutorials, though most of them are links to different web pages. So they have tutorials for Blender, Compeers, Play on Linux, um, which is nice. They have a couple of links here, core values of free software, the origins of Linux by Linus Torvalds, um, truthhappens.org. So they have a few different examples like they always used to in Ubuntu. Um, and now what else can I show you? We have the um, menu here. We have um, the Linux Mint um, style menu um, and I believe this is the show desktop button and we have um, a couple of um, links here to the Chromium web browser and a terminal. I'm not sure what they're called, whether they are um, quick launch or they're just pinned like in Windows 7. Though um, I believe that other applications open up in the same style. Yeah, it's sort of like Windows 7, it's got the pin and unpin style. Though obviously it's a bit smaller, though you can resize the bar if you want. Um, we have edit clipboard, well this is the clipboard manager. Uh, we have the volume control, uh, networking, and we have the you know um, the day um, day date time etc., which is pretty nice. And you can switch between two different um, desktops. You can probably change that to um, four if you want. Um, and now let's take a look at the um, Mint menu. We have um, places, favorite system, as you would, um, you know, well, as all of the Mint menus usually do. Um, so this is all pretty standard. And the places you have computer, a link to the home folder, network, desktop downloads. And the system we have package manager, update system, control center, terminal, lock screen, log out, and quit. Um, let's take a look at the package manager and see what they use. Um, GPK application. So, um, you know, uh, it looks okay. Uh, nothing will probably come up. The um, repositories probably um, have to be refreshed. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, okay. A couple of errors have come up there. Um, what else do we have? We have, um, you know, your favorite section, etc. Let's just take a look at the applications. Um, there are a lot of different applications. I'm not going to go through all of them, though, you know, we have the Archive Manager, um, Firelite um, for viewing disk usage. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Redshift, um, it sort of adjusts um, the screen's um, color temperature um, based on the time of the day, which is, you know, I suppose it's nice. I personally don't use it. Um, Shutter is like a screenshot application. For education, uh, education, we have Marble, I quite like Stellarium. Um, games, you know, you probably won't play half these games. I don't usually play any of the packaged um, games. No, you know, they have a few different ones here. You know, Frozen Bubble, Free Sieve. Um, you know, oh, they have Play on Linux included, which is nice. Uh, for graphics, they include Blender. A lot of people like to use Blender, F Spot, um, you know, Inkscape. You know, a few different um, graphic applications here. I don't believe they have GIMP. Uh, for internet, uh, we have Amule, um, Chromium web browser by default. Oh, they also have Firefox 4 bundled. Dropbox, I like the fact they have Dropbox included. That's pretty handy. Empathy, uh, Giver, I have still yet to try Giver. Um, Q, QWIT, the Twitter client application. Um, you know, we have a few different remote desktop style applications here. I like that TeamViewer is included. They have Thunderbird for email, transmission for torrenting, XChat for IRC. And, you know, as you would expect, they have um, LibreOffice now. I believe, um, you know, the previous version, 14.0 or whatever it's called, had um, OpenOffice. Um, what else do we have? Sound and video, uh, Audacious. Audacity, um, we have Banshee as the default um, media player. Uh, Cheese, I quite like Cheese for, you know, it's like a webcam program. Gnome M-Player, Miro Internet TV, uh, P 
Hit TV video editor, VLC media player, so most of your video files um, should work out of the box. Uh, system tools, we have Alurus, um, a simple application store like GNOME Treeker, it's a bit like Treek Ubuntu if I'm not mistaken. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, we have a few different applications, nothing too exciting really under system tools. Uh, whoops. Uh, sorry, it's being a bit odd. Uh, we have Ryan, a few different um, applications associated with Ryan. Um, I need to, um, I might make a video on Ryan in the near future. A few people have asked me about it. Um, administration, you know, all of this should be pretty similar to, you know, Fedora really. I don't know, I haven't played with Fedora for a long time. Uh, preferences, this should also be pretty similar to Fedora. Oops, sorry. Preferences should be pretty similar. Um, then yeah, that's pretty much it for the menu really. Um, let's see what file manager they're using. Uh, Nautilus, you know, I quite like Nautilus. It's probably one of my favourite file managers. I prefer it more than Dolphin personally. Um, and uh, let's just try opening um, a folder again. Uh, yeah, see it just comes at the bottom here in the taskbar. Um, wait, did that open a new one up or...? Yeah, it's okay. It's I don't like the implementation as much as uh, well. I don't think the implementation is as good as in Windows Seven, for example. Um, the bar is a bit small for my liking. Though you can obviously go to properties, and you might want to I don't know maybe make it thirty-five. You know, it's a bit easier to see. Um, however, it looks a bit dodgy. Obviously, um, I need to move this out again you know, to give it a bit more space. The, uh, look at the image there, they have, um, you know, it's not like a continuous image. I've forgotten what they're called. It's not like an image that um, doesn't stretch no matter how long um, you, you know, oh, I've forgotten what they're called. Though, you know how you can get those images and it doesn't matter how much you stretch them, they look the same. It's not one of them, obviously. It seems to um, repeat itself, which is um, a bit annoying. Um, so what will happen here? Oh yeah, this uh, kind of fixes the problem. I'm not sure if um, that will change after I exit out of it. Let me just close these windows, close. A bit dodgy. Well, very dodgy, you know. Yeah. Anyhow, that may, um, you may be able to um, tweak that yourself with a bit of, um, you know, if you play around with it for a bit. Um, though what was that by default? Oh, I've forgotten. I think it was 24. I think it was 24. I'll just put that back to what it was before. Um, though, yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can really show you. Um, I did actually make a video a couple of days ago showing um, the installation process. And um, Fusion Linux um, 14.1 has a bit of a unique installation process. They have a nice welcome screen after you install it. And they have a bit of a command prompt which opens up, which offers to install additional applications like Skype, etc. Um, I just had a few technical problems. Um, I wasn't able to edit the video due to the um, codec I was using. And I couldn't be bothered to um, reinstall it and make another video of the installation process since it took a very long time. Um, from memory, um, the ISO image is about 1.7 gigabytes, so you will definitely need to put it on, you know, a CD, um, a DVD or a USB um, device and run it that way. It won't fit onto a CD. Um, though I'm not sure if there is anything else I can show you. Really, um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And thanks for watching.